It's everything you hate about politics, all in one person. Nicole Maliotakis, the first class fraud. De Blasio and Rose's policies aren't just radically liberal, they're radically dangerous. Oh, it got ugly. Do you remember former Staten Island Congressman Max Rose and the candidate who beat him in the 2020 election, Republican Nicole Maliotakis, with their attack ads? It looks like we're in for a rematch, a campaign that at times got right in the gutter. So why does this former Gulf War veteran, Purple Heart, Bronze Star, former Congressman want to get back in the game? And Max Rose joining us tonight. Good to have you on. Thanks for having me. All right, lay it out for us. Why do you want to get back in the ring? What's going to be different this time? Yeah, well, well, look, and, and I'd also love to talk to you about the last campaign as well. But right now, the American people, when, when you really think about it, in the face of inflation, in the face of this pandemic, we, they're exhausted um, and they're stressed. And what I believe we need right now are leaders who are willing to risk it all, not to play politics, not to listen to the polls, not to listen to their donors, not to listen to what former presidents may want them to do, but do the right thing, consequences be damned. That's what you saw from me as a leader and as a member of Congress. That's how I've lived my life, whether it was leading soldiers in Afghanistan, whether it was serving as a senior advisor to the Secretary of Defense, or certainly whether it was serving as a member of Congress. But we have to not only deliver results, we have to fix our politics in this country. And that also means rising above this era of vitriol and divisiveness. I don't want to go back to those commercials again. You know, I, I you played don't. in the mud. Um, no, no, yeah, I don't. I, I, don't want my, I don't want my son seeing that. Um, I, don't, I don't want to go back to that. And, and look, it took, it, it took my uh, opponent... Um, just a, a day or maybe even less to start issuing negative emails and uh, getting us right back in this cycle. We got to start to bring the American people together because we're not each other's enemies. Max, I you did enemies overseas. You did bring up. I'm just gonna go back to the to the last election because Malia Talkas uh, did claim that you were anti-police. At the same time, as you're thinking about this rematch, you've talked about she had a hand in inciting the insurrection. So, the mudslinging won't start again. No, well, when you think about it, first of all, going back to the last campaign, uh, under zero circumstances have I ever been anti-police, nor have I ever supported uh, defunding the police. My, rec my record is exactly the opposite. But that won't stop them yet again from running a campaign and a web of lies. This time, though, they won't have Trump's uh, coattails to hang on to. Right. Now, there's a difference between running a campaign that is... Uh, that has negativity but, and running a campaign that is based I, in around facts. The Republican Party, not one person, the Republican Party has spent the last year defending the insurrection, has spent the last year absolutely refusing to come face Matt, to face with right. the fact that on that day they waged war uh, on our Constitution, on the very fabric of our nation and what we all hold dear. And to me, that is something worth standing up against. I just want to jump in also. We did reach out to Congressman Mally Takas, and she said in a statement that voters rejected you because you were a rubber stamp for Nancy Pelosi and that you pushed Joe Biden's disastrous agenda um, and rise in crime and runaway inf inflation. I would, I would say you probably would disagree with that wholeheartedly. I do want to address, though, so also our local politics, because I know you have talked about the failure of the de Blasio administration, and you can't wait to be there to support <laughs> Eric Adams. Absolutely. Look, we, and if you saw just recently with uh, the mayor's announcement about this last minute announcement without any coordination about this mandate, uh, what we're seeing is just an absence of leadership. And what Eric Adams is all about and what I believe his administration will be all about is rejecting the false choices that have dominated our politics, this false choice between justice for all and safety for all, false choices between economic growth and opportunity for all, false choices between innovation and things like rejecting the notion that there should be homeless people on the streets. At any point, we can build, I think, the America and the New York City that we all know is possible. It's going to take leadership. 
And Eric Adams is going to bring that leadership to City Hall, and I'm going to bring that leadership to Congress. All right, Max Rose, good to have you on. Uh, perhaps we'll be addressing right, you once you again on as Congressman Max Rose, but not yet. But good to have you on and hope you'll come back. Thank you again so much. All right, take care.